is there some art world here? Oh, rock good. So I am on holiday, but I got spare five or ten minutes whilst the missus is in bed and getting herself sorted. And my daughter is doing her own thing. So I thought I'd take this opportunity. Well, rough as shit, man. Bit hungover. Uh, it was out last night. Had a few drinks and had a bit of a laugh. So no, I thought just to come to you today to have a look at the Champions League draw. As I've not had a chance to do anything on that yet because I've been away since Friday and the draw's made on Thursday. So let's take a quick, quick look at that. Hey, oh, we're all good anyway. As you can see, it's a bit dull here. We're in Wales. You never get a good day in Wales and if you do it's always followed by two crap days. Anyway, group A. Athletic Madrid, Dortmund, <coughs> Monaco and Club Bruges. That's a great group. Athletic V Dortmund, Athletic V Monaco, Dortmund V Monaco. Obviously Bruges are the odd team out there, but those are the three teams. There should be some good matches between them. I've got Athletic and Dortmund to go through. Probably Madrid at top with Dortmund second. Group B. Tough one for Spurs, really tough. I don't see an easy game in this one for Tottenham. Barcelona, PSV, Tottenham and Inter Milan. Inter have got some good signings in, uh, in this window. Just gone, you know, a couple of loan deals and one up with some decent players. And yeah, no, Tottenham had a great result against them years ago and Bale was there when he ripped him apart, but he's not there now, is he? I think this will be really tough. I mean, if they can get Six points against PSV, that'll be a great start. Then maybe a win against Inter, I'll give them nine points. You'd say I should see them free then, really. They could maybe afford to lose a game against Inter Milan. Or at least get a draw in that game. Get a draw against Barcelona at Wembley. Because the first game in the, uh, in the season for in Champions League for Spurs will be played at Wembley. That's going against Barcelona. That's a bit of a blow for their fans. Not seeing such a great game at their new ground. But things are different now with Spurs. Years ago, it was like, oh no. We're never going to get this opportunity again. But now I think, obviously, the fans feel every season they're probably going to be in the Champions League. Or at least every other season. But I can't wait Barcelona and Spurs to get out of this group. Barcelona at top. But I think Spurs can get the six, six points against PSV. And three points against Inter. That should really put them on track to get out of the group. Group C. PSG. Oh, this is a tough group for Liverpool. Apart from one of the teams. But PSG, Napoli, Liverpool and Gravina, Zvitsa. I've never heard of them. I think they're a Serbian team. But PSG, Napoli and Liverpool. What great games. PSG, Napoli, PSG, Liverpool. Liverpool against Napoli. Um, I've actually got this wrong. I'd put down who I thought would get out of the group. So it's up on Napoli. I don't think they'll get out of it with PSG. I'm going with PSG. I don't... I don't know how much now. You'd back Liverpool. But Napoli under Carl Ancelotti will be a tough, tough team to beat. They've already beaten Lazio and AC Milan over in Italy. In their first two games of the season. Before this weekend. I would... Definitely PSG. But then between Liverpool and Napoli, I just don't know. That'll be a great game. You have Salah, Mane, um, Firmino, Shakiri, uh, Keita, Van, Van Dijk in the Liverpool side. And then up against like Neymar, Mbappe, uh, Cavani, Thiago Silva, Rabiot, Verratti of PSG. What a game. Uh, Anfield would be rocking. I'd fancy Liverpool to beat PSG at Anfield. I really would. But over in France, it could be a different matter. I think Liverpool beat Napoli at home, but again in Naples, a different matter altogether. So it could be between Liverpool and Napoli who get through. I'd expect Liverpool, Liverpool too, but do not be surprised if they struggle. Group D Lokomotiv, Moscow, Porto, Schalke, and Galatasaray. We always get one group that's just a bit poo, but there's just no real exciting games in, and that is the one. I'm back to Porto and Schalke to get out of that group. Group E, Bayern Munich, Benfica, Ajax, and AEK, Athens. Bayern to win the group. And it's between Benfica and Ajax. I'll go with Ajax to get out of that group. Group F, easy group for my 
can't see if you think about it. They have Shakhtar Donetsk, who did they lose them a couple of seasons ago. I'm sure they did, was last season, when uh, Fred was there, was it? And I'm sure, see, he lost to CSK in Moscow last season, I'm pretty sure it was. So, City, Shakhtar, Lyon and Hoffenheim. I've gone with City and Lyon to get out of the group, I think Lyon will be in good form this season, just signed <laughs> Musa Dembele from Celtic for 19 million quid and he could, um, for their for their sake, push them on. But it's funny how players just drop, once their form drops, their price drops so much. Musa Dembele of Celtic was valued at like 40 odd million a couple of seasons ago when Chelsea was apparently after him, when he was in top top form for Celtic. And he said it was about really quiet the season last season, and all of a sudden his price dropped down to like 19 million. Group G. So I'll go in City and Leon to get out of that group. Group G. We have Real Madrid, Rama, CSK, Moscow, and Blesen. I forgot their first name is now. Their first name of their uh, team. But I'll go with Real Madrid and Rama to get out of the group. But the CSK and Moscow could cause an upset. Do not be surprised if City Real struggle away at CSK It's the sort of game they could struggle in. And Group H, my group, my team's group, we've got Juve, Man United, Valencia and Young Boys of Bern. So yeah, Ronaldo, back at Old Trafford, taking on Man United. We struggled at Juve so far. You just know he's probably going to not score up until that game and then he'll get like a hat trick. But no, I reckon United will get beaten in Turin, no doubt about that. We will probably be beaten in Valencia, more than likely. We will beat Valencia Old Trafford. We will beat Young Boys of Bern at Old Trafford. We might struggle away at Young Boys, maybe get a draw and that will have Switzerland, ain't it, I think. So that will be a win against Valencia at home, a win against Young Boys at home. A draw away at seven points. I think we beat Juve at Old Trafford. That's 10 points we'll go through. But Juve will go through top. They'll beat United at Injuring. They'll beat Valencia home and away. They'll beat Young Boys Burn home and away. Just maybe dropping points at Old Trafford. That's about it. So Juve top, Man United second. In terms of possible winners, I wasn't in the middle of writing this down. You still got distracted uh, to get ready to go out for the night. So I've got. I might leave that for another video. Take a proper look at the possible winners, in my opinion. And we'll go for that another day. Alright, guys, I'll be updating these videos every other day, whatever. I might do a video on my holiday in a minute. Um, see if it's pissing down. I think it's actually raining. Who the hell wants to be on holiday? It's raining. Oh, we've got gate crashes. Just walk past. Cheeky buggers. Alright, guys, take care. See you later. Bye bye.